everybody, it's a vertical sandwich. I'm gonna see if I can tackle this guy. I don't know what his deal is. Hey, come back here. Where did he go? Move. You make it look easy, Frank. Now what's going on? I made I made the guards mad by chasing that guy, and then I lost him. I was just trying to tackle him. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, that's what I wanted. Okay, great. It did the crazy thing I was trying to get it to do. Fantastic. A lot of viewpoints are going to do this to us. The viewpoints in this city are a little more complicated climbs. Okay, well that's obvious. Ba boom. Okay, first plucked from a tree guarded by a snake, its powers perform miracles. Then worn across the ages, torn asunder, hidden under a sea of red, reconstruct the timeline. We literally are looking for people wearing red. Like, or they're being red in the picture. So, see that red sash over Jesus' shoulder? Boom, red. Jason, Golden Fleece? Yeah. Okay, well, David and Goliath, David's clearly wearing red. There's no red in the Hannibal picture, it's black and white. No red in the Prometheus picture. That, that bird is, t is eating his liver. <laughs> like. Okay, uh, John Paul Marat. Uh. Oh, well, Joseph in Egypt, okay. How many is that? Four? Uh, no, okay. There it was, okay. Alright! They took it! They took it! Piece of Eden 66, the shroud. Passcode found. These get weirder. I know, you're like, vertical sandwich, it couldn't get weirder. Yeah, they get weirder. Weirder. Alright. Yet another synchronized viewpoint. Look at all those towers in town. <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> That's so terrifying! Oh man, right next to a chest, too. Perfect. By the way, if you run out past the guard, he instantly will try to kill you. Like, he instantly just goes, Oh, you broke into that area I was guarding. Where's our next viewpoint here? I was going to say, there's at least one more here in the city. Okay. I see two codex pages as well. Alright. Let's get down, and then make love, and then get down and make love. By the way, you can shop for paintings. Uh, these paintings will increase the value of... Oh, it's all naked! This is the naked lady shop! Okay. Um... <laughs> So yeah, if we if we buy this, boom, then that item is acquired. It is sent to our our villa. Grazie. Molto grazie. And there we go. It increased the value by sixteen dollars, or sixteen units of value. 
I don't really know that it's like dollars. I don't, I don't know that it's a one-to-one -one correlation. Okay, can't get up there. Maybe I'll just go this way then. Why not? It doesn't hurt me to just run around on the ground. Okay, there's a glyph here. Hey ladies, I would love to hire you, but I have no money. <laughs> we'll just climb up the front face of this building. Nobody will care. Literally nobody cared. It's not even the right building. I don't know that that's a jump I can make. <laughs> it is! <laughs> Fantastic. Now, did it say that this place had a glyph? I don't think it does. I think the glyph is at our next... our next viewpoint. Oh, maybe I'm wrong about that. I could have swore, though. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, let's just take out the next viewpoint, and then we'll think about these towers. Because one of these towers has a, uh, a feather. That much I know. All right. Hey, guy who's going to yell at me, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, now you're dead. That's what you get for yelling at people who are doing nothing to you. Okay, I see a thief guy. If he comes up here, I'm going to stab him. There he is. Come here. Nah, he's all the way over there. Okay. There's no danger to us. Yeah, he's just running away. Past our viewpoint. Whoa, our viewpoint's over there. Fine. Oh, great. Can I get out? I can't. Oh, I can! Awesome! I can climb this way. Great. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <coughs> uh oh. No! Oh, man! My coughing ruined everything. <laughs> All right, let's go this way then. I think we have to go the way I was trying to go. So we've got to drop down here and go this way. Over to the middle and then up. Then to the left and then around the corner and then up. Then this way and around the corner. And then... There we go. That gets us the feather. Back this way. Back around. And then up. And around this way. And up. There we go. Well, that did it.
Perfect. There's four more glyphs to find in the city area. Two of them are outside of the city. That's a heck of a jump. I'm pretty sure I can make it. I'm just debating whether or not I want to. Of course I want to. <laughs> That's nuts. That's so nuts. He's nuts. Clearly insane. Clearly. What I wanted to do earlier, though, was I wanted to check my locations, my database, and go to locations. Not documents. Locations. Really? I saw one come up that had a glyph on it. Oh, because I'm in Florence. Okay. Santa Maria uh, Santa and uh, Toro de... So I have the glyph locations for the next two. It has no tower. It's next to a very tall tower. Bell tower on top. We can find this. I'd rather not look it up. Because why would I look it up? I wish you would just tell me where I am right now. Okay, there's a tower there. This is the place. Without a doubt, this is the place. So where is its glyph? Because you would think... That it would end up in a place like this, right? So this is the front. I have an idea. I mean, it seems like it could very easily be up on the bell tower. Because otherwise, if this isn't a viewpoint. Why would why would why would it be climbable? If there isn't anything up here, treasure chest or something. Okay, never mind. Huh. Interesting. I'm glad we did that. Even though it got us nothing. Oh, I wonder. There we go. This is, I didn't find this one in my practice file. I know where the other one is. 
Okay. Czar Nicholas of Russia. We have to find a thing in this picture somewhere. The st oh, we have to find the staff. And these binary numbers for no reason. So there's the staff and the sword from the last puzzle, I think. And then we have to do here, pick up the flame, and burn Joan of Arc with it. They burned Joan alive. They took it. And then we get to pick up Rasputin and connect him with the Tsar. Rasputin took it to... Could no longer control his subjects. Revolution! Revolution! Little creepy. A little bit. Okay. Passcode found. We're gonna get uh, one more passcode than I've had in my practice file. Because of how many... Uh, like, because I found this one. I knew it was in a tunnel somewhere. Don't ask me why I knew that. I saw it in, uh, at supercheats.com, I think. <laughs> I don't know. If you want a map, if you want a map with a picture of a location for anything in this place, or in this game, supercheats.com is where you go. Like, don't go to GameFAQs, don't go to IGN. Go to Supercheats. They have, um, maps for the locations of the statuettes and stuff in the... So, I remember that... Let's check out our location database one more time. Yeah, this is the next place. Right here. So, this place with two towers in the front. And it's actually at the base of one of the towers. So, we should just be able to jump over. Kill this guy. And he'll stop making noises. Bothering us about who we are and what we do. And then I think... Not what I was going for. But thanks for playing. I can see it from here. Fine, I'll get up on the thing you want me to get up on. No. I can't hit it from where I was, are you kidding me? Oh, do I have to climb up the wall from the other side? It looks like I might. There we go. Perfect. All right, that's all of the glyphs in Tuscany. Hidden by the murders. People only see what they're trained to see. What the organization wants them to see. Hat trick, unlock the file. They made it look like an accident. So this is a Houdini and Bess. And if we look over here, here's where the orb is. Right where Houdini was punched. Houdini's grave, October 31st, 1926. Rip Houdini. Um, he almost beat them. And we look here, and this is where Gandhi was shot. Gandhi's funeral procession. Rest in peace. And then the Dallas Archive. And access is denied. The wolves are out hunting. Where, oh where has Jack gone? Okay, so we have to align the code wheel here. And we align it with 6 equals 1. So there we go, 6 equals 1, which means that's 1, which means 8 equals 3, and 7 equals 2. So 3, 1, 2. HQ is given the go-ahead to extract the resource. Negotiations are over. Ev is planning to give the vote to everyone. Reason just doesn't work with someone like that. I'll send you the driver. We've trained him with P2 in our labs. He shouldn't be any trouble. 
The motorcade route is marked below. Once the target has been downed, either by Oswald or Z, use PE1 to stage a distraction. Make some kind of phantom appear on the slope I've marked with an X. Freak people out. The driver will grab PE3 in the confusion. And then there's Dealey Plaza. And I believe that's probably the grassy knoll of the text there. And then our code is 18916. So the implication here is uh, what, what a lot of people believe. <laughs> so we've unlocked another file. So how many of these do we have now? Nine. We're not even halfway there. We will be very soon, though, because I know where others are in this area. All right, when we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.